Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video I'm going to show you the best NVIDIA control panel settings for gaming in 2022 to make sure that you guys get the best performance out of your PC and the least amount of latency while gaming. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. So guys, and in the first place, once we actually open up our NVIDIA control panel settings, which you can already do by just simply typing in NVIDIA into your Windows search bar, this window should pop up. And what we're gonna do in here, guys, is click onto use my advanced 3D image settings, and then we're going to click onto take me there. And once we're in here, guys, we can now see that we have global settings and program settings, and the most important ones are global because yeah, you should apply these settings for maximum performance for literally any game you want to play on your PC. And in the first place, we now have actually image scaling, which is sort of extra, so therefore I'm going to explain it afterwards. By the way, guys, if you're trying to figure out how to actually get lower ping in Fortnite, no ping is going to help you to find the best server in your near guys with the lowest amount of ping. All you guys got to do is just simply get yourself no ping over the link in the description, and then you're just simply going to head over to the Fortnite section, and there you can already see now which server in your near actually features you the lowest amount of ping. So therefore, check it out 100%. And then for the rest, guys, ambient occlusion, anti-strophing filtering, pretty much any sort of filtering guys should be actually turned off, yeah? Anti-strophic filtering, you can see right now it's on application control. You should actually put it onto off. Anti-aliasing mode as well, just simply put it onto off guys. The only one which I would actually leave on is gamma correction because it has nothing to do with graphics but sort of like with lightning and you definitely want your game to be super bright so you can see like everything. So therefore just simply leave it on, on and for the rest put everything on off you guys just as I do. Then we're gonna scroll down a little bit and we can now see background application max frame rate and this sort of depends on what you do on your PC. Let's just say that you always have to tap out to search up something or do something with Discord meanwhile or Google Chrome whatsoever kind of maybe makes sense to limit it maybe on like 20 FPS so your PC isn't like super slow while you're tapping out but other than that it doesn't really matter so therefore I'm just gonna leave it on off. CUDA GPUs you're gonna leave on all, DSR factor onto off. Next up low latency mode guys you actually have to put onto on and I gotta say, especially like from different PCs, you know, for some people on feels better than ultra because yeah, usually you would think, okay, ultra has to be better, but that's actually not the case since on some GPUs on actually works better than ultra. So therefore you have to kind of try it out for yourself, but I can only say a lot of high tier pros are actually using on guys. So therefore I'm just going to leave it on that maximum refresh rate. You're going to leave on off guys because yeah, you don't want to limit your PC simply. The next up for monitor technology guys, I actually personally use utilize G-Sync. If your monitor has any sort of sync technology, you should be able, you know, to activate it in here. And if you have free sync or no sync technology at all, just simply leave it on fixed refresh rate. Then next up guys, multi-frame sample AA, you're actually gonna leave on off. OpenGL rendering GPU, you're gonna leave on auto select. Power management mode, you're actually going to put on highest performance guys, yeah? Prefer maximum performance, make sure to select it here. Then we're gonna scroll down here again. Then preferred refresh rate. This is right now here only because of my capture card guys on the highest available of course. If you have maybe a streaming recording PC, I don't think like anyone probably is watching this here or only a low amount of people actually have that. So therefore don't even worry about it. Shader cache sizing you're gonna leave on driver default. Back in the days this actually made a difference but nowadays not really anymore. The next up guys we have a bunch of texture filtering modes here and anti-strophic sample optimization you're gonna leave on off. The negative LOD BS you're gonna leave on allow. Quality you're gonna actually put guys onto highest performance possible. So we really get maximum FPS here on our PC. Texture filtering trillionaire optimization you're gonna leave on on. Threaded optimization on auto. Triple buffering on off and then for the rest guys we have again vertical sync you know v-sync so called and here it again comes down if your monitor has any sort of sync technology you should probably not use it you know so therefore we're gonna actually turn it off here on my pc as well but if you have like a 60 hertz monitor or anything under 120 hertz guys you should maybe try it out because for some people again they feel like it's a little bit more smooth if they actually have it on sync and for some people it doesn't feel smooth so therefore it's kind of personal preference and then for the last two ones you're just simply gonna leave it on one and off because they don't matter really. The next up guys, we're gonna click now here onto adjust desktop color settings. And what you really wanna make sure is make sure to select your main monitor or here in my case, I'm actually gonna select um, my capture card because they both are identical. And what I would really recommend you guys is actually to put your digital vibrance up to something between like 70 and 80%. 
trust me, your whole entire image is gonna look so much better. For the rest, don't even change any of these settings, only digital vibrance, and as mentioned, 70 to 80% looks really the best, guys, and I'm not joking, it's gonna feel like a whole entire new gaming experience, yeah? And once we're done with that, we can just simply already close here our NVIDIA control panel settings and enjoy having the best settings out there for maximum FPS and the least amount of latency while gaming. And yeah, guys, with that said, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel, the sweat up mode, so you so much, and if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.